Hello and welcome back to the Pokemon Universe playthrough. This is part 21, and in between episodes, I did do a little bit of team training. There is no real need for a team recap. Everyone still has the same moves. Just a couple of levels added here and there before we go ahead and start ghost busting. Because last episode, we went ahead, learned about the whole ghost suppression firefighting team, I guess is what they were called. They were called Geist. I remember the acronym, but what they actually do... Who knows? We're gonna go and find out, I guess. We have strange things happening in the slight area we went to on the right. Um, and to be honest, my team is only just now on par with basically where our last gym leader levels were. So I have my thoughts that we might get wrecked. We will see. But for right now, Minta, time for funny Spanish words that I can giggle at like an idiot. Let's go. Carlos. You've decided to give us a hand on the mission. <laughs> Quick. I don't. It's happening already. <laughs> this ruined building is the Wild Bull Saloon. Not many years ago, it used to be one of West Star City's main attractions. Can you believe that? Yeah. Yeah, I, I can actually believe that. That makes complete sense, actually. Yeah. The owner, Chempo, built it about a century ago, taking the role as the bartender as well. Every zone was finally organized. For instance, the one we're occupying right now was the Battle Room. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. Here, both West Star City citizens and outsiders used to fight between one drink and the next one. All good things come to an end, though. Someone spread a rumor about a monstrous Pokemon hidden by the owner. It's called Bull Saloon. I saw a Taurus head mounted on the wall. Are we gonna see a Xenotaurus? Maybe? Maybe? People, even though they've never seen this creature, believed the rumor, and so Chempo started seeing, day after day, his clients disappearing one after the other until he was left alone. If they had a really cool monstrous Pokemon, wouldn't that be more of a reason to go, because it's a cool attraction? Like, he has the Pokemon, right? The way it was worded, it made it sound like he had the Pokemon. Maybe it's just a, you know, big old Pokemon hidden in the cellar that no one knows about. So this saloon, that's been deserted ever since, became the home of ghost-type Pokemon. Geist will never let an arrogant two-bit spirit take it for itself, ruining Mr. Chempo's work. That's why we're here. Now that everyone's here, Geist can finally start its magic. I have a ghost! Wait, can I just send my Sharpedo out? That's right, Carlos. Until the end of the mission, you go be part of the team. I get to be part of the team? Let's go through the area for clues. Vaminots. <laughs> As a kid, I used to watch Dora the Explorer, and all I can think of is this woman is Dora, right? That's <laughs> <laughs> that's who she is in my mind. There shouldn't be, but that's who she is. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put... Who am I gonna put in front? My Lemute has Bite, and that's good, so, and we're immune to Ghost-type moves, so I guess we're gonna put that in front. Chapido's also fine. Blastoise, have you found something? There's something underneath the table? I don't know, I'm very confused. Very lost. Hey Squirt, trying not to get in the way. Door is locked. Oh, okay, that tried to, like, kick me out, but there was someone walking in the way. That's pretty inconvenient. Alright. We have Litwick. Okay. Okay. Um, Litwick is definitely not a Pokemon that I want to add to the team, but there's probably gonna be some Pokemon in here that's new, right? There's gonna be a new ghost type in the new area. We saw this before. We caught one. I didn't actually check it out in the PC, I don't think. But we know it's Ghost Psychic. Oh, Carlos, it's you. I'm really happy you're here to help us. Wow, I'll finally see a real trainer in action. What's this? Something Chinese on the floor. Saloon key! That's a pretty convenient thing to find early. I want to see if I can interact with those papers on the right. See if we can get any lore. I don't know if we're going to be able to get any lore. Let's see. It was another night here at the saloon. The clients in their Pokemon between a drink and the next one spent their time battling. Music and loud choirs echoed in the theater room, making the desolate West Star look like a nightlife city. I can see another shiny thing on the right that looks like a key. Despite being the owner of this shack, I've never been a partier, so I used to just watch others having fun, proudly enjoying the result of my efforts. Suddenly, like a bolt from the blue, I felt a shiver down my spine. My observing spirit led me to find out something extraordinary that night. I saw a shadow hiding between the customers of the saloon. Do you have a lot of lights in the room? Because it could just be like a double shadow situation. If you have a lot of lights set up, then the shadow can hit from different directions. I'm pretty sure he's just crazy and drunk. Who knows? A shadow that resembled a Pokemon. Ever since then, my working days have never been the same. 
It looks like the first ripped page from a diary. Well, now we're hunting the diary, because now I'm invested in the story. So, can I get in here? No, that is not where the key goes. Where does the key go? Does it go up here? It does not. I also got kicked into a battle when I got knocked away from the door. That's pretty rude, gotta say. Pretty rude. Uh, I guess we're heading to the little spots on the left then, unless the key activates, like, a secret door. Maybe there's, like, a trap door behind the counter? That'd be pretty cool. I mean, I can see behind the counter because of the overview, so, I mean, I know there's not, but it'd be pretty cool. I like trap doors. Maybe a secret bookshelf? You know, a classic? I don't have problems with the classics. When classics get used in video games, I'm completely okay with it. If there's a chest behind a waterfall, I'm a happy boy. That simple. Uh, I see shiny thing below me. So Haunter, if you would let me run away, I know my line mute isn't the quickest, but we are gonna be able to run away. Gimme. Saloon key. Okay, we have two of those now, I think. Can I grab the box on top of this? Pretty sure I tried to do this already, didn't I? But I can't help it. I see a chest and I have to open it. That's why I'm, you know, so afraid of mimics and dark souls. <laughs> I see a chest and I'm like, well, I have to check it out. Uh, fun times. Fun times. Speaking of dark souls, honestly, um, I've had a lot of problems with noise lately because of new neighbors slash neighbor that's already there that hasn't quite moved out yet because they're doing something weird. He's having a lot of work done on his house, but... Starting from next Tuesday, my new neighbors should be moved in fully. Um, hopefully, they're not going to be the noisiest creatures on the planet. Although, the little time that they did spend in that house, they were noisy as heck. So I don't have particularly high hopes. Um, but that means all of the construction that's been happening in that other house will be done next Tuesday. Meaning, one, should be back to very consistent daily uploads, which will be very, very nice. And two, it means I might be able to stream again. So, that will also be kind of nice. I feel like it's about time I do a YouTube stream. Although, I'll admit, I have no idea how to even start a YouTube stream, just because I haven't really looked into it all that much. Do I not have any repels? I'm in the wrong thing, aren't I? I am, aren't I? It's this one, isn't it? I will get back to what I was saying once I find these repels, because if I try and do two things at once, my mind's going to break. Uh, repels. Repels. I have a super repel. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. But, uh, I should be able to hopefully stream a little bit. I don't know exactly when I'm gonna start doing that again, but I would like some ideas for games that I could potentially stream. I really can't open any of these doors, huh? There we go! Okay, I was starting to get very confused. First of all, what is this item? Max Appel, convenient. Uh, so I would like ideas for games to stream. I'm definitely gonna stream a Pokemon game. Uh, I don't know exactly what at the moment. What? Don't pop onto my screen like that after a half second. Oh, okay. Um. Hi, if anyone remembers me playing Pokemon Lifeless, jump scares don't, don't do well with me. <laughs> Hombre, Salem, Demetrius has gotten into you. Don't let Demetrius into you. Don't trust him. Um, Carlos, hurry up. We have a problem. Oh, that's, uh, something. Madre de Dios. That cabron suddenly lost control and turned against us. I, I, I know I should be, like, really invested in the story right now, but all I can think is, hey, the music got kind of cool. <laughs> I'm- I'm so scared. Just help him, Carlos, please. There's no need for you to waste your energies, Carlos. This is my duty. Do you have... an onigiri? Are you just- are you just smacking right now? He's straight up got, like, a full-on machine on his head, eating an onigiri. He is living his best life. <laughs> no offense, Chrysler, but Carlos is definitely more qualified than you. I don't know. He seems pretty relaxed. He's exuding confidence right now. I trust him. You aren't even a real trainer, after all. Affirmative Captain, the plan I designed, though, has a high success ratio just because my strength isn't comparable to Carlos's. Alright, I know I can trust you. Thank you, Captain. I trust him. Transfer protocol, loading, 10%. 
beep boop 40 percent beep boop 70 percent beep boop 90 percent chunk 100 percent stop oh um you i okay hey q demetrius is going on here I'm partially doing this on purpose. Why is that Tubbo flying? Don't call him a Tubbo, he's saving your life. Idiot, did you already forget everything? Poor Chrysler saved you by letting himself be taken by the Pokemon that possessed you. Uh, what? Then I have a chance to redeem myself. Don't worry, Tubbo, I'll save your fat behind. Stop insulting him when he saved you. Um. I can't attack Chrysler, though. What do I do? Grab him by the ankles. Pull him to the floor. Exercise him. Get out the cross. That uh, 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 I don't know what else. Out of the way, Sala. Looks like Carlos wants to handle this. Do I? Do I? I did say I'd put him to the floor. I, I guess I'm on it. Challenged by Geist Chrysler. Although, they did say he wasn't a trainer. Okay, you have high level Pokemon than me. Okay, not a real trainer, huh? Not a real trainer sends out Pokemon higher level than mine. Uh huh. Hmm. Not a real trainer, though, for sure. That static was really annoying. That static was really, really annoying, huh? Matang. Pretty scary, but I mean, I do have Fire Blast, so... I probably don't need to Fire Blast. I can probably get away with a Flame Blast. But I'm gonna click Fire Blast because it's so static. There we go. Okay. Alright. <laughs> you know, I wanted to be sure of the KO, but I hate moves that could miss, you know? I hate them. I just want Flamethrower. It's all I want. Flamethrower is just such a nice, consistent move. I'm just gonna Flame Burst. If this doesn't KO, I'll be a little bit sad. I should have went for Fire Blast. Okay. Thankfully, it went for Magnarise, so it didn't matter in the long run, but still. Missing Fire Blast feels bad. It does. Like, when you go for a Focus Miss, you know it's gonna miss, so it doesn't even feel that bad, because you just expect it. But Fire Blast, there's still, like, a chance you can land it, right? Okay, that noise has gotta stop. It makes me jump every time. Hey, Chrysler. Toto BN? <laughs> Roonf. <laughs> Roonf? <laughs> what kind of noise is Roonf? Heh, <laughs> the bow must have made him tired. Chrysler, thank you for taking this risk in order to save us. But most importantly, mucho gracias, Carlos. Thank you for saying words I understand in Spanish once. I, I agree with you, sis. Carlos, you were amazing. I'm afraid of fighting Buster, I'm gonna be honest, so can you not get possessed? I don't want to have to fight Buster. It's still too early for celebrations, that Pokemon is still on the loose. You can put any of us against the others at any moment. I'm already short on Turbo. Chrysler, I'll make that bastard pay. Carlos, give me that key. Which one? I have like three of them and I only opened one door. Let's settle this, good for nothing spirit. Salem, Q Demetrius, are you thinking? We can't split up at a time like this. Buster? H hey guys, don't leave me by myself. Oh, so we're just gonna leave Chrysler by himself? Wait. Rip. Okay, alright. Sorry, Chrysler, you know, it was really helpful of you to save us, but bye, I guess. What? Why are they all. Look at the little Litwicks jumping! Aww. Look at all the little Litwicks. Saying little Litwicks is really a, a little bit of a mouthful. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Little, little, haha. <laughs> um, yes, I would like to use my Max Repel, because I'm pretty sure we're just gonna encounter Litwicks and the other Pokemon that we already caught. Um, blue candles, interesting. Shiny Litwicks? Uh, you good, bro? I don't think he's good. I, you know, if I had to take a guess, there's a lot of moving like shadows beneath me, and that's kind of creepy. But hey. Oh. 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 Oh no. H hey. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, my eyes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to touch the piano. Music is changing. Can I go home? 
You know, I have, like, gym battles to do. I'd, I'd like to just... Maybe I could come back another time. You know, as... You know, there's other gyms I can fight. I don't have to do this one right now. I mean, it'd be convenient to, but, like, I can see that you're busy. I'll... I'll... Can I leave? Like... <laughs> tell you right now, if this was an open world kind of game where I could choose which I fought when, then yeah, I would I would come back later. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Carlos. You're on a whole different level than the other ones. You surprised that I can talk? It's nothing special, really. A puppet master like me can easily take control of other people's bodies. I'm Hangied, a Pokemon that has resided in this saloon for too much time now. The decaying walls disgust me. And I really need a change of scenery. Your presence, though, really piqued my interest. Join me. I've never met anyone gifted both with such love and such hatred. You're my real prey. But I have to admit that this hatred-filled body is not bad at all. I could get used to it. This guy, behind the facade of the tough guy, only wants to prove himself to be useful for his companions. Such a perfect pawn for my game. And now it's time to test us to see how far I can push you against this blondie's body. Okay. Hangied. There's a lot of ghosts that are important in this world so far. Like, the first gym we had that Spiritomb, which was like Grass and Ghost. One of our first Xeno Pokemon that we fought was the Sharpedo, which was Water and Ghost. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of ghosts that have been involved so far. Which is nice, because in the, you know, original Pokemon games, your mainline series Pokemon games, ghost types aren't very common. So it's kind of nice having them be a little bit more common in the early game. Um, I'm just gonna collect Waterfall and absolutely bop this poor Charmeleon. This guy seems weaker than than Tubbo. I'm not meant to call him Tubbo. His name wasn't Tubbo, it was Chrysler. See what this guy has done to me. Now I'm part of the problem. Wow, that handy got deleted. I was thinking maybe we'd get Sucker Punch or something, but no, it just got completely deleted. Oh, okay, we got some color back. Hey, Qdolor, Squirt, is that you? Let me guess, you saved my bacon again, haven't you? A little bit. This is absurd. I managed to get myself beaten by a little kid. I let pride fog my mind and I acted carelessly. It's my fault we're in the situation now. I can't move an inch, as if all the energy I had has been drained. A damned thing is still be roaming the saloon. Carlos, you're the only one who can do, the, who can do this. Save Minter and Will, por favor. Let me tell you this though, you may have defeated me, but I'm still the most handsome. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I'm not convinced. I'm not con- Ooh! Law! <laughs> that's, that's what I'm really after. Law! <laughs> Since then, every day, I used to wait for that shadow to come back. At nightfall, like clockwork, I was stunned to see this happening. My soul was frightened, and at the same time, intrigued by that mysterious presence. However, if my clientele knew that a ghost-type Pokémon was haunting the saloon during their parties, everyone would have never come back. I mean, they're a pretty widely spread type of Pokemon. Like, yeah, they can be a little bit creepy and pull some pranks, but like, there's surely some nice people with ghost types. I don't think they'd never come back. Maybe I'm, you know, actually, yeah, people, people suck. Yeah, they probably would, wouldn't they? People suck. Yeah, okay, that's, that's my bad. So, late at night, when no one was in the bar, I started playing on the piano an old song I learned from my father. I was so lost in the melody that I didn't notice the shadow was showing itself to my eyes. I'll be frank, the fear overwhelmed my curiosity, then I stopped playing. But still, I took courage and tried convincing the Pokemon I had no bad intentions. The shadow creature, like it was reading my heart, suddenly transmuted, showing off its true appearance. You could still see the suspicion in its eyes, but slowly our souls got closer. It looks like the second page ripped from a diary. Mm-hmm. Repel wears off. Okay. Pokemon Den. Oh! Uh... Yeah, I guess. I, I guess we're doing a den. Okay, I thought this was just gonna, like, let's continue. Um... Would you like to ring the bell? Room service? Oh. So what, it just lets me know a little bit of, like, where I can't go? I assume if I touch the purple. Touching purple, probably bad. 
So through the middle and upwards. Can I interact with that sign? No. We head up. And I guess right. And I guess down. Yeah, I, I knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, you can't get me with that one. Alright, I knew that one was happening. It was way too obvious, but I, I it was quicker, so I tried it, and that was stupid of me. Um, memory game. This way. This way. Straight up. And then we want to go around. Rather than going the nice obvious pathway, which, you know, I really should have figured wouldn't work. Um, we can't- oh, I was gonna say we can interact with that bell, but I guess we're just- that bell's a bait. I got you baited! No! I got you baited. Ah, oh, That's- that's disappointing. There's also Boofle on. Okay, well... Um... You wouldn't have, like, one of these type. I'm going bottom. Okay. Got a shadow update. I think I got one of those off of a Haunter. Yeah, I think I got one of those off of a Haunter, which makes it really underwhelming. But oh well. This is just gonna teleport me back. Okay. Well, not the most overwhelming den of all time, but, you know, it's fine. I really thought that was the way we had to go, though. So now I'm a little bit confused of where I actually need to be going. <laughs> I also should have brought more repels, but I didn't think I'd need that many. I don't know why I didn't think. But I guess we're backtracking for now? So let's just cut to when I next find where we need to go, and once we backtrack a little bit, because uh, we're going to encounter a lot of Pokemon. But this way. Leads to somewhere different. Oh? Oh no. Not directions. Not directions. And I went straight to the dead end. Okay. Well, to be honest, in mazes, I kind of like going to the dead ends first, just in case, you know, I, I don't want to, like, go the right way first time and miss all of the items. So, you know, I don't I don't hate it. Let's just go straight north. This probably leads to the item I just saw. Probably. Papillion. It's been a while since I've seen this Pokemon, and honestly, I would like to catch one. We didn't get an opportunity to catch the other one because we one-shot it. I nearly one-shot it again with Ice Shard, which was probably my weakest move. But let's just go ahead, throw ourselves a Great Ball. Nice mid-range Pokeball for a nice, honestly, probably mid-range Pokemon. And we catch it nice and easily. I don't think it needs any nickname because it would just confuse me as to what it actually is. And we can grab this Psychic and Dark type. We're going to go ahead and just send that to the PC and we're going to continue on our way. Overall, a win. Uh, this does lead to the item, right? I'm pretty sure it does. Haunter, okay, okay. I kind of just want to, like, waddle on, get my item. And I hope that the item, honestly, is a max repel. <laughs> That'd be best case scenario. Oh. Is this... Wait, we're going round and round the maze. We're going round and round the maze and we don't have any repels. This is my bad, you know? Okay. It does lead to the item. Just, just let me run. Just, just, just let me run a couple steps. Please. Please. X special attack. Well, that's really not what I'm after, but okay. Uh, we can go down this way. Did I miss something on the left? I bet I missed something on the left. I bet I did. There's an item up there on the left, isn't there? There's law. I'm going for the law. I need the law. I can't help it. The law! There we go. Okay, every patch of grass. Oh, hi. Dude up there running around in a square. Nice. Every day, the little one came to the saloon where it had an assured meal. Finally, I had found a new friend. But then, one night, a gang of outlaws alongside three houndooms. Interesting. Broke into the inn, raiding all my and my customers' money. Damn. Westar has never been the city of trainers, so I didn't know who to ask for help, especially to protect at all costs that Pokemon. Among the people, a newborn infant broke down in tears and one of the Houndoom, sick of that whining, attacked her. I didn't want to witness such a brutal scene, so I shut my eyes. Once I opened them again, I saw the dark Pokemon, dark type, groaning on the floor. Oh, or is that talking about the Houndoom? Maybe. 
Maybe you're talking about the Houndoom. Houndoom would be the dark Pokemon. It was my friend. That kind heart Pokemon stood up for the saloon and that baby. Three outlaws ordered their Houndoom a combined attack right away, but the small shadow threw them away in the blink of an eye. Sounds kind of OP. The thugs cut and ran, and so I tried to reassure the customers, telling them what really happened. It was such a relief telling someone about that Pokemon strongly attached to the saloon. But the outcome, it's not like I was expecting at all. The clientele, just by the idea that a ghost has been there for all that time, got terrified and fled. I tried explaining the creature was inoffensive, but I couldn't talk them out. Even my friend, saddened about the whole story, hid into its own shadow. Since then, the saloon income crashed, and no one came by anymore. This memory of mine is now nothing more than a nightmare that haunts my sleep. No more songs, no more dances, no drinks. Everything is so sad and quiet here. Not even it came back. Now it's only me and my worst enemy. The loneliness. Dang. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get on over to Will. Never have I ever struggled so much to walk through grass without getting Pokemon encounters. Holy. I see a mechanical Tauros Bull, which seems kind of fun. But first, we have to battle this guy, so hey. Oh, there you are. Do you want to play hide and seek with me? Don't go back in the maze. You didn't. You didn't. Did he? Please no. Oh my god. You're kidding me. Okay, don't, 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 stop. Please stop. Please stop. I don't want to run around this maze anymore. Please tell me you went back up here. It's all the way on the right. It's all the way on the right. I don't have repels. <laughs> ah. At this point, my soul has left my body. All I know is encountering haunters. Peekaboo! Please. No more. I don't, I don't have repels. I've been in here for like 20 minutes. It's not been that long, but still. Stop! <laughs> no more running. No more running. No more running. No more running? You know, I've always been a scaredy cat, ever since I was a little kid. To help me overcome my fears, Dad used to bring me into hobbles like this one. Just standing by his side, vanquished all the uneasiness I could feel. You see this mechanical Tauros? Don't tell me you're gonna send that at me, I don't need a mechanical Tauros running me down. Every time we came here, Dad put me aboard it to make me forget about my fear of ghost-type Pokemon. Yeah, instead you can only think about your fear of flying off of a mechanical bull, right? Yeah, I get it. Every time I think about those days, I see why I decided to follow my daddy's footsteps. But now, Dad's gone. He left me all alone. I'm still a coward. Carlos, possessing this body of this kid was actually pretty easy. Mostly because when he saw me, he started crying his heart out. <laughs> it may not be that blondie, but with this body, I feel like a real human. I could get used to this quickly. When I'll get rid of you... I've also just noticed that the name changed. Um, I'll be able to leave this wretched place behind and blend into your society without suspicion. Or, hear me out. I get to see you in your Pokemon form, catch you in a Pokeball, and then I can take you out that way. Yeah? Yeah. Level 33, Kadoon. Kadoon, if I'm not mistaken, was a flying type? So I'm just gonna Icy Wind? We get the Quick Claw. That's actually pretty handy, because I imagine this would be outspeed me. I feel like this is like the magic up of the game. But I could be wrong. Kadoon again! Seeing how much damage that Icy Wind did, Ishard might just KO. It doesn't, but it's close. It's very close. That Quick Claw boosted Ishard though. Ooh. <laughs> Relevant. Bulbasaur? Why do you have a Bulbasaur? Why do you have a Bulbasaur? I've got the Bulbasaur. I kind of want the Bulbasaur. Chill. 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 I'm just gonna throw some ice at you. Chill. No solar beams today. See, his team, you know, fits. Skatey Cat will. That fits. <laughs> you managed to defeat me, but I'll leave this place with this body. Whoop. 
He's fighting back! No, Hangi, this is my body. Go away. <laughs> Are you trying to oppose me, coward? No one has ever managed to get out of my control. Well, he's doing a pretty good job at it. You can't understand. I may be a coward and a worthless Pokemon trainer, but if you thought you could bring me down with your words, you've made a sore mistake. I'm not alone anymore. Sis, Buster, that one's important. Chrysler, Salem, and Carlos too. They're my family. I just met you. <laughs> Thanks to them, I'll find the strength to overcome my fears. He's gone full anime protagonist. Ah, uh, damn it. My control is slipping. That taught me that harnessing the weaknesses of the souls of fragile people is wrong. The music is also like I'm in the anime climax. <laughs> but now, the sadness you are leeching on has become my will to fight. My geist soul is burning bright. Yep, that's anime. <laughs> you have nothing to grab onto anymore. Hangid, get out of my body. It's all over now. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you so much. Please, save my sis and defeat that monster. Can't I get possessed instead and she have to defeat me? That sounds like a way more fun way of this going. I want to get possessed. I don't want to save your sister at all. I want to be the one that gets possessed. We found a spooky plate, very thing for the area. Okay, that makes sense. Can I get Shadow Ball? Oh, law. August. Not even a single customer in months. I was on the rooftop when I heard a roar coming from the main hall. I immediately ran there. I shouldn't have. Those gangsters came back with reinforcements. But this time, there was a known face. The mayor. Gunther, a corrupt politician of Eldu's underworld. The man behind the tourist crisis of West Star City. Why was he there? He made it clear immediately. He had come to take his revenge for what had happened a few months earlier and catch the Pokemon of the saloon. He was done talking, and one of the outlaws, Scarphasmo, pretty sure that's the evolved form of the Pokemon I kept running into in that stupid mechanical bull area, attacked me while the other Pokemon started destroying what remained of my inn. Slash hit me hard, but my physical pain was nothing compared to my inner wound. Everything I built, every happy memory, everything went up in smoke. I was about to pass out when all the Pokemon were thrown away by a powerful attack. It could only be it. My friend. And for ordered his minions to attack the little Pokemon that, besides its small, its small size, huh? Small size. So it's not a ghost, Taurus, or Bufalon, like I was thinking. Was really powerful. It came back to protect me as it did with that child months ago. The mayor, out of henchmen, ran away and the little Pokemon fell on the floor exhausted. I owed so much for that Pokemon, so I took care of it for days until I got his health back. Meanwhile, the whole city, hypnotized by the mayor's claptrap, Borderlands, um, started hunting the Pokemon that committed the crime of hurting that liar of Gunther. I had no choice. The little one and I had to leave West Star City. Waking up from its coma, it came closer to me and a thick black tear crossed its face. I don't know if it was sadness or happiness to see me to see me in the good old days. All I know is that I witnessed the creation of an unforgettable memory of our bond. After that, the Pokemon vanished before my eyes. My friend didn't want me to leave me... Ah, words. My friend didn't want me to leave everything I'd created, and so it was. I'm old now, and death will soon come and visit me. So, please... I ask those of you who will read these words to respect my only remaining wish. Keep the bottle of the black tear safe. I've kept it hidden in the basement. It represents the soul of a Pokemon that did everything to protect me and my beloved city. Goodbye. Champo. Oh dang, okay. No. No. Not Buster. Very well, Carlos. I've been waiting for you. You've managed to humiliate me, but now it's time for my revenge. Surprised? As you can see, I can simultaneously control these bodies, since they share a deep bond. I think I may have hit the jackpot with this girl. She's smart like the Tubbo, capable like the Blondie, and finally she's full of spirit like that twerp. And the lion cowboy, Hangid, the king of the saloon, is gonna make you pay dearly. For what? Why though? Like money? I don't have any money. I'm sorry. It's just not gonna happen, you know? Buster. Hi, Buster. Not gonna lie, I feel like you're gonna absolutely destroy me right now. I'm just gonna go for a headbutt. Yep. 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 Hear me out, though. Quick look. Flinch. Flinch. Imagine. Flash cannon. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Mm-hmm. 
Thankfully, we have Shyleon, and I think Shyleon should be able to deal with this pretty well. I really just don't want to go into uh, Harrog, because I don't want to give this a rain boost. Giving this thing a rain boost would probably be the worst. So I am just going to click uh, Giga Drain, and that's that. It is super effective, so it's not like part steel because of the mechanical cannons or anything like that. It did actually rapid spin me, which is pretty underwhelming. I was thinking it was going to be flash cannon again, but there we go. We've defeated Buster. Now we have to actually fight Hanky, probably, right? Get a nice little level up. Plus money. Now I can actually pay Hanky. Look at that, now I have money. There's no way I could have lost while controlling two bodies. Damn kid, I'll take control of you once and for all. Not so fast, amigo. The squad! 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 <laughs> You'll have to deal with us first. We won't let you take cars that easily. No, I want to get possessed. It sounds kind of fun. What do you think you can do? I've already shot all of you out once, and I can do it again whenever I want. You're right, Hangy. You've already defeated us once. We were alone back then. This time is different. We have the power of friendship and anime on our side! Together! Woo! By the colors com combination of the Power Rangers! Bam! Pow! Wallop! Yeah! It's <laughs> <laughs> who you gonna call? It's Ghostbusters. Sis, how do you feel? Is Hangy the evolved form of Papalon? Because that looks a lot like Papalon. Oh, Chico's, you're all okay. What happened? Turn around. You let that hangy take control of your body, like an amateur. Luckily for you, I, Chrysler, Will, and Carlos beat the living soul out of that buffoon. But I, I did. You, you really didn't. What did you call me, Salem? I'll dare you to say that one more time. You're right, though. That Pokemon got me without breaking a sweat. It's the first time one of my jokes made you laugh, Minter. Finally falling for me. Shut up. Gee, no need to get so worked up. She really hit him with the straight-up shut-up. I I think, you know, he might have a point. Carlos, thank you for your help, really. I did it for Buster. Guys, that seems to be Hangy's real form. Well, let's get rid of it right away. Espera, Salem, I have an idea. We've drained Hangy of almost all its energies, so it's no longer a threat. Carlos, as a trainer, it's your choice to defeat or catch this Pokémon. We're going then, Carlos. Remember to stop by the firehouse when you're done here. A promise is a promise. We'll never forget what you did for us. Hasta fuego. Hmm. Well, I mean, we're gonna catch it, for sure. Oh, I hate it, though. <laughs> I, I hate it. <laughs> I actually hate this Pokemon, but we'll Giga Drain it. Okay, we can go for another one of those just fine. Psybeam. I'm pretty sure this is a dark psychic type. I'm pretty sure this is the evolved form of Papillion. I probably wouldn't have made the connection if I hadn't ran into it so many times in that stupid mechanical ballroom, but once you've ran into it that many times, you can see the similarities. I am honestly... A Dusk Ball would work here. And it'd be very aesthetically pleasing. We're going for the Dusk Ball. It would fit the Pokemon well. Who knows, maybe it'll have an amazing nature, amazing stats. Really didn't catch? That makes me so sad. That makes me so sad. Really? Great ball it is, I guess. I don't know why I just don't want to use my ultra ball on this. I probably should, but I, I just don't want to. It's me just being silly, really. I should probably just ultra ball it, right? I'm just gonna... We're gonna throw every different type of ball in a row. You know, if we don't use the same ball twice, it'll never know what to expect. It'll never get used to the lock mechanism on the inside. Right? Right? So now we have to use a Premier Ball. Okay. Bear with me here. Actually, we'll, we'll throw a normal Pokeball ball first. We're not gonna let it get used to the lock. Wow. <laughs> So close every time. Yeah, it's just not it. Okay. Well. Um, obviously we have to intimidate it with a big old motorcycle roar. Uh-huh. So now we've got the intimidation. And now we'll catch it in the premiere ball because it's not used to it. I think we have to just go with ultra balls, huh? I think this thing might be harder to catch than I'm giving it credit for. I don't know why I'm discrediting this Pokemon. It's probably it's clearly fully evolved or something, right? <laughs> C 
Come on now. Come on now. One of these. One of these eligibles. Right? Attempt to just KO it, honestly. There we go. Okay, you just have to fret it by saying you'll KO it. A little bit of a longer episode, for sure, but I wanted to complete the area. It is a Psychic and Ghost type to control Pokémon. Puppets using strings. Pretty sure that's an evolved form of Papillion. So what is... You found a Dread Pendant, which I think evolves some of the Pokémon. That evolves Nunville. We can evolve Nunville. Which we won't do right this second, but we will do for sure at the start of next episode. As for right now, I'm going to end off this episode here as it has been a little bit longer and I have to run back through this area, which is going to be a nightmare. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye.